Why do these things happen? From a human point of view, yes, it's a calamity, it is suffering. But why did it happen? It has happened because human beings are not all right. Not one human being or two human beings. We don't talk of individual beings. Humanity as a whole, what is its life? What is the amount of violence each one of you has got? Each one of you is a divided house. There's conflict in you, there's violence in you. There's hatred in you. All these things are there. This only erupts as a war or a conflict or a drought or a flood or a calamity. You can even burst the earth if you want to from your own violence. It, the outer world merely reflects your inner world. So human beings are not all right. Therefore, you'll be producing more and more calamities. That's why we are telling you, please improve your relationships. If you improve your relationships, there will be... <coughs> inner integrity, there will be no conflict inside, there will be peace inside and you would see very naturally that the environment is changing. It would rain properly, there wouldn't be any earthquakes, things would all be very different. So if people change, things would change. If people do not change, they would bring about destruction on themselves. You are heading for destruction because you are not all right inside. You have conflict in you, this conflict has to get out somewhere, has to emerge somewhere. That's why I give the example of water flowing through a pipe. If somewhere the pipe is weak, it will burst out there. It's only the collective. There's only one mind, the human mind. Each of us are part and parcel of that one mind. We are contributing to that mind. All the division, conflict, hatred, violence. It has to manifest in a Hitler or a Mussolini or a Stalin or somebody like that. Some tyrant. He is not responsible. It, he is the unfortunate victim through whom it is coming out. Only we could do anything. We have to transform ourselves into better human beings. Human beings who are less violent, who are more concerned. Then automatically you would find the politicians would be behaving differently. So do not blame anybody, blame yourself.